Hello and welcome to uh, what is this your eighth Java tutorial? Um, today we're going to be talking about um, mathematics and this isn't ridiculous um, calculus explosion. It's a uh, simple and I highly doubt we will even get to pre-algebra so I don't think you need to worry at all. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare some variables then we're going to compare those variables um, with uh, adding them, dividing them, subtracting them, uh, and many other uh, different comparisons um, but let's start by making a couple variables. Um, I'm going to start by making an integer apple variable which is equal to 4 and I'm going to make an integer uh, banana which is equal to 6 and then I'm going to make an integer mango which is equal to 2. So now we have all of our variables declared which are all integers and they all have different values inside of them. Now we can compare these guys. Um, so let's do you know, let's declare another variable uh, named integer fruits, and we're going to set integer fruits equal to mango plus banana plus apple. And so we can print out fruits, and you know how to do this. You just enter fruits, the fruits variable, inside the system out println box and what this will do is it'll print out the total um, adding of mango plus banana, banana plus apple um, so let's run this program and you'll see that it prints out 12 because it added all of these together and the sum of all these guys was 12 so we can try something different let's try mango divided by banana plus apple now this is the division sign. This means, well, division. Uh, it actually looks a lot um, like something you would write in a uh, math equation. Um, same with the plus sign and same with the subtraction sign, which I will show after this. So let's run it. And if you look here, we come up with the answer for because it went through the math of this uh, as it was saved to the variable fruits and printed it out. Now we can try subtract apples or apple with the minus sign and we can print this out and that comes up with negative 4. And then there's another one which is kind of weird um, and it is the remainder sign. Um, so let me change this back to plus and there we go. Um, and we're going to add the remainder sign and the remainder sign is the percent sign. Um, and that's pretty much the remainder of uh, the number left over. So let's run this. And if we see here, we have 4 because it went through the statement and used the remainder sign, just like a remainder in division. Okay, so that's uh, those are all the simple statements. Um, now we can actually compare these guys. We can do um, something like can make an if statement and do if apple is greater than or equal to banana do this and we want it to uh, let me just delete fruits really quickly because we don't have that variable anymore um, what we want it to do is print out there are more apples than bananas and that's actually not always going to be true because we have um, if it is greater than or equal to. If it was this, it would always this statement would always be correct. Although since it's this, this isn't that accurate. Um, but that's okay. And then we can do another if statement because we're lazy. We will just copy this, and we can do. Oops, let me just make it more organized. There we go. Um, if banana is greater than or equal to apple oops I'm not very good at spelling um, 
there we go it'll print out there are more bananas than apples now the mango is kind of left out so let's add in a statement for that if apple is greater than uh, or equal to mango then there are more apples than mangoes so that's a pretty uh, simple way so if we run this it will print out there are more bananas than apples but there are more apples than mangoes so if you look here it's pretty simple the way this works is there's four apples which is more than two and there are six bananas which is more than four now we could change this around to be 21 and if we ran this program it would only say there are more bananas than apples because obviously four is not bigger than 21 um, and that's uh, pretty much the simple way to do math in Java um, and these can be switched around you can do less than or equal to or equal to or not equal to uh, you've already known a lot of those but we'll stick with this um, and I hope you guys got something out of this uh, math tutorial um, and I will see you in the next tutorial.